Hi, this is Sean with OMU Energy, and today we're going to show you how to do a Model 3 12 volt battery swap. So, before we start with the 12 volt battery removal, we need to get in the car, make sure that the rear passenger door has its window rolled down, make sure that the driver's door has the window rolled down. We're going to pop the front, then go into your safety and security menu select power off the car will ask you to confirm and you're going to hit power. this part of the install process is really important but it's also really easy a lot of people get intimidated by it because of the idea of going underneath the back seat but trust me it's really simple and we're going to show you how to do it right now in the front there's a little tab you'll slide that away from you and that will unlock this side of the seat you just lift it up gently Underneath, you're going to see a foam block. We're going to lift that up, get that out of the way. Then you'll see a black and gray header. Pinch the top of it, rotate it down, and slide up. That's all you need to do. Now that you've done this, the high voltage on the vehicle will start shutting down. Now that you've got the high voltage interlock loop disabled, that allows us to safely remove the 12 volt and make sure that we're gonna get the whole system reset. You just pry this off. It'll just snap off as you work your way around. Underneath, you have an air plenum that guides air down to your air filter for intake. Just gonna pop these off. There's four clips, lift each one upwards, and that'll come up. It only takes one tool to do this whole swap, and that's a 10 millimeter wrench. So here's your 12 volt battery. We're gonna loosen the tie down bracket, and then the negative lug, and the positive lug. Okay, so with a 10 millimeter wrench, we're gonna loosen the tie down. Go ahead and take this bolt all the way off. There's two different variations on the Model 3 tie down bracket. Both of them are easy. One of them, which is like this one, you can rotate. Once you've got it loosened, you can rotate it out, lift, and then rotate the top. The other variation, these loops are closed. In the version where it's closed, you'll push down in the front and then push the bracket backwards, lift the front out, and then you'll be able to get the back out. On these, I will take the negative lug off, loosen it, wiggle, and lift. The negative will tuck in over here. Really important safety. Leave the cap on the positive until you're ready to remove it. Make sure that you've already got the negative side removed before you do the positive. That's important because the positive terminal, if you were to touch it with metal and touch any of the metal structures on the body of the car, you could, you could create an arc and a short. So now that we've got the negative off, we'll go ahead and remove the positive by lifting the cap, loosen this terminal, Wiggle and left. Always important when working on these, when you do take the positive side off, make sure you tuck it somewhere that does not make any contact with metal. Again, it's to prevent arcs and uh, shorts. The reason in an electric car that that's really important and also different than in gas cars is that there's a DC to DC converter in this car. The DC to DC converter could be providing 12 volt power to these lugs even when the 12 volt battery is detached. That's why we remove the high voltage interlock loop to shut down the high voltage side of the car so that the 12 volt is totally off while we're working on this process. And it's also why if you're servicing a Tesla, you should turn the high voltage off and the 12 volt off. We're gonna remove the gas vent off the side of the battery and we'll just leave that hanging on the side. 
it's it's not going to be useful with your new lithium battery because there's no gas buildup inside of our batteries. They don't need to be vented. This battery is, is pretty heavy, but you should be able to lift it out straight up. To install, we're just gonna lift it and set it down in this tray. It goes back on the same way you got it off. So depending on which version of the tie down they put in your car, you're either gonna slide it in from the back and then rotate the front end or slide it into the back and then press it away from you a little bit, push the front side down and then bring it towards you to get it underneath that lip. Once you feel some resistance, you know you've got it fairly tight. You don't need to go so tight as to crack the battery or anything like that. Just put it tight enough so the battery isn't shaking back and forth when you try to rotate it. Okay, so now we're gonna connect the terminals. So the first thing we'll do is remove the cap on the positive side and then grab your spacer lug, your lug spacers. There's two of them. One is a little bigger than the other. The larger one is for the positive. The smaller one is for the negative. For now, we'll set the negative to the side and we'll look at the positive. You'll also notice it's tapered. One side is a little smaller than the other side. The larger side is gonna go down. So we'll go ahead and press that into your, uh, onto the terminal. If you just set it on top, you'll see that there's a little bit of a, a discrepancy. So just press it downwards, your fingers, and then it'll it'll expand and uh, push down like it should. It's going you want to push it down so the top is is smooth and they're level with each other. Then you can take your positive lug, clamp down, and tighten. Make it tight and secure so that when you try to rotate this, it doesn't slide at all. Then cover with the rubber cap. And how we'll go to the negative lug, remove the cap, grab your smaller spacer. Again, it's tapered. One side is a little bigger than the other. The larger side will go down. Same thing, press downwards until it's flush. When you make this connection, this is going to re-energize the 12 volt system in your car. So at first, there's a fair bit of current that's gonna rush, that's gonna rush through this connection. So to mitigate some of the arcing that'll happen during that process, you'll just wanna put it on quickly. So try to line it up and then press down straight, nice and quick. If you do that, you'll get very little, if any, arcing. Then tighten this lug. To make sure it's tight, try to wiggle. Now your battery is securely mounted and reconnected in the car. Great job. Correct. Your high voltage in the lock loop should still be unplugged right now. So we're gonna go ahead and reconnect that. Come back underneath the rear seat. If you left it loose, great. If you didn't, you're just gonna push that tab away from you to unlock the seat. Lift up gently, take the plug, resecure it while pressing downwards, you'll see the gray notch start to go up, pull it up all the way until it locks. Remember to put the foam block back in place. And then the seat and reinstalls. Sometimes you hear a click when you put it back in, sometimes you don't. Just tug up slightly to make sure it's secure. Reinstall the air plenum, just align it into its place and then press down on these four plastic tabs until they click. On the top ones, you might have to support the rail a little bit so it doesn't flex too much. Same thing, line it up. Then as you go around it, you'll hear different pops as it connects back in place. That's it, easy process. 
and your car is now 17 pounds lighter and it has a lithium 12 volt battery which is more efficient and will last much longer and also operate at a little higher voltage uh, and experience less voltage sag during any kind of load happening on the 12 volt which is really important during uh, high bass in, in your sound system and other things like that. The process is wrapped up when you press your foot on the brake pedal you'll see the screen turn back on if you had a replaced 12 volt soon alert it should now be turned off if you followed all the steps uh, if if there's any trouble always reach out to us support at omu.com or go to omu.com support and you can get in touch with us with live chat or